this is one thing that I really don't like about curly hair. Like why, why do I look like, why is it even an option for me to look like this? So instead of ripping off my hair, today I'm going to be trying out a viral TikTok blowout video. So I saw this video on TikTok by Shirley Girl and I was completely blown away and now I'm like gonna be a blow dry girl because these results are insane, incredible, crazy, like I really don't know how that's even possible with just a blow dry, but today I'm gonna be trying to do the exact same blowout. I mean, I don't have all the same ingredients, but I'm gonna try my best to get a really nice blowout just like this viral TikTok video. I'm super excited to try it. If I get even like half as good as a result, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Today we're gonna be doing a hair gloss. I didn't know what hair glosses were. I didn't know anything about hair gloss, but I picked one up from Sally. This is a semi-permanent clear intensive shine gloss by the brand Ion. Apparently hair glosses are good for like rebuilding your hairs, molecules, and giving giving it a lot of shine. So hopefully this gives me a super shiny blowout. I have to apply this after I shampoo my hair. I've been detangling before I wash. I did it once. It's not like I've been doing this for a long time, but basically it's because of this stuff. This is the Pattern Beauty Detangling Nectar. This stuff is so good. Oh my God. I tried this out with this wide tooth comb and I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. This is amazing. I was like, maybe I can use wide tooth combs now. Like I've always not really been the hugest fan of the wide tooth comb because I feel like it rips my hair out. It takes too long and I'm just, I don't have the patience to do this on my hair. But but I used it with this and I was like, whoa, maybe I'm a white tooth hair girl now. So then I tried using the white tooth comb without this product and relearned all the reasons why I don't like white tooth combs. And then I realized that it was this product. It wasn't the comb, it was the product. So if you have tangly curly hair like me, you should give this a try. This stuff is so fire. First things first, you gotta water, you gotta water the plant. I just don't really like curly hair. And I know, I know, everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, no, curly hair, it's so fun, it's so nice, it's so pretty. But no, I don't like it, it's too much work. I didn't sign up for this. And I'm really just over it. Like, where's the heat? Where's the heat? Give me the hot tool. Give me the hot tool. I'm done, I'm done. And I think all curly girls go through something like this. Like we go through feelings of just not liking our hair. It's like a hair self-love journey. Um, and honestly, I've had my hair natural curly like pretty much my whole life. So it's not like I came from like a relaxer and then rediscovered my love for my hair. It's just like, I don't know. I'm just over it. I'm over it, I'm done with it, I don't like it, um, and I'm happy that I can change it. So that's the one good thing about curly hair is it is very versatile. So if you don't like it one day, you can just switch up your style. If I didn't have to do it, maybe I would like it, but the fact that I have to do it, like, like I have to take time out of my day to do it is really messed up and annoying and I don't like it. But yeah, at the same time, I'm thankful that I even have hair and that it's semi-healthy. So not gonna complain too much, but curly hair is a struggle. It's not fun, it's not easy. Um, I would not recommend. <laughs>
that literally took me eight minutes. I looked at the footage, eight minutes. That's honestly insane for detangling. And look at this, this amount of a hairball is tiny and it looks bigger like this. Like if I really, let's ball it up, okay? This big, this big of a little hairball is incredible for detangling my whole head of hair. Like you should have seen some of the other creatures that would come out of my hairbrush from a single detangling session. So I really love that. I think this is gonna be my like new way of detangling from now on, I'm obsessed with this stuff. So now I'm gonna shampoo my hair. No conditioner, scary, I know. But for our gloss treatment, we only need shampoo. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and shampoo. So I'm starting by just rinsing my hair and letting it get fully wet. Don't judge my shower holder, it has a million things in it, but I'm gonna now go in with the Olaplex number no. four C shampoo. This shampoo I got in PR, so I didn't actually like purchase it myself, but I have been really liking it. It's definitely a super cleansing and almost a little bit stripping shampoo, but if your hair needs a really clean base, I really like this shampoo and I reach for it a lot before I do heat styles like I'm doing today. I do like to shampoo twice when I want to deep clean, so I'm gonna shampoo one more time. Hey guys, I'm out of the shower. I have only shampooed my hair, no conditioner, and I even toweled it dry, which felt very wrong. I never do that ever, but that's what this product says to do. Use suitable protective gloves. Do I have gloves? No gloves. Apply a generous amount of color. I, should I use gloves? Probably find some. No. Apply a generous amount of color directly from the tube to towel dried hair. Make sure hair is thoroughly saturated. Process for 10 to 15 minutes at room temp. Check every five minutes. What, are, what am I checking for? Like my hair is gonna fall out or something? Work into a lather and rinse thoroughly. Don't shampoo, proceed with styling. Cool, can I condition? Does that, do I condition after this? I really don't know. Probably not, right? I don't know. It says don't shampoo, but what about conditioner? Oh, my hair is once again fully tangly. <laughs> That's what happens. See, curly hair, it's just you really can't win. Do I have a hair tie? Look at this. Do you see this? That's ridiculous. I literally just detangled. Hopefully, I don't get a reaction. Oh, it's oozing. It's oozing. Okay. And I also have to kind of just apply it quickly and evenly. this entire thing I'm gonna grab a little extra and just put it onto like the top of my hair because that's the part of my hair that I want to be the very shiniest this is so messy I've gotten it all over the place it's all over my computer actually I don't know why I've been putting it down like this I've been placing straight onto my computer for some reason. Not great. So in 10 to 25 minutes, I'm gonna rinse all of this off and hopefully we'll have some nice shiny hair. I am back and ready to blow dry. One thing that I have noticed about my hair is that it's not holding water. Like it's still soaking wet and I've been out of the shower for a long time. I feel like usually my hair absorbs liquids a little quicker. I'm gonna start off with really teeny tiny sections. One thing that Shirley says is to do tiny sections like this will be a section this will be a section i'm gonna be using a round brush which i'm nervous about i've never really blow dried with a round brush before i've never done it but her tips were to apply tension go slow and use a pointed nozzle for your blow dryer Okay, you guys, I think I did it. Look at the curl, look at the curl. Oh my God, okay, it's working. It's a lot easier for me if I'm like looking in the mirror, not just staring in this 
viewfinders, but I'm gonna dry as much as I can on camera and then it helps going to the mirror and like seeing what you're doing and just keep going. So next piece, this is taking forever already. so far this is a frizzy mess um i'm gonna switch blow dryers and i'm gonna just run the straightener through my hair because it's just this is like an expectation versus reality i don't know if you have to like keep doing this a million times and like get good at it but things were just not working out so i'm just gonna quickly run the straightener through my hair i don't want my hair to be like straightened i still want that blow dryer look but i have to do this to get the look that i want to achieve hey guys so i'm done blow drying i just switched over to a blow drying brush which was a million times faster and better in my opinion. I just could not do the whole round brush method. Like I really don't know how she does that still. It's wild. Now I'm gonna just touch everything up with the flat iron. As you can see, the bottom is like, I did the bottom already. Um, and now I'm gonna do the rest of my head. So this kind of was a fail. It kind of turned into just me flat ironing my hair, which I'm not really mad at. That was kind of the goal anyway, but I'm gonna try and keep some of this volume so it looks kind of like a blowout. I will be back when I'm done to show you my results, but overall, this was kind of a fail. I am done with my hair. This is the finished product. I'm really happy with it. I mean, look at that, look at the shine. I feel like I have lots of body and shine and I, I freaking love it. Um, I don't know if I can really even call this a blow dry routine anymore because it kind of failed and turned into this, but I'm happy with my results. I'm gonna put a little bit of this bio silk therapy in. So I'm just gonna add that everywhere. I didn't add a lot because I don't want my hair to be weighed down. Main takeaways from this video, I'd say it's to get a hair gloss. My hair has crazy shine and it's definitely because of the gloss that I just applied. And round brush blow drying is like a crazy art that probably takes years to master. Um, I hope you enjoyed this fun experiment. As always, be sure to subscribe, it really helps me out. And I will see you next week with a new video. Honestly, if you want a silk press, you need to do a hair gloss before you do it. That's how you'll get the results that you want. I've unlocked a new power.